what holds the building is not the beauty of the items in the building. What holds the building is the foundation. And to be more specific and clear, the kind of foundation. Glory to God in the highest. We must be sure in our time today that you are in the right foundation. Psalms 11 from verse number 1. In the Lord put I my trust. How say you to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. For look the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. Underline verse number three. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse number two of Psalms 11. For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. This tells you the enemy is ready to attack. But he knows he can't get you when you are on the solid foundation. So for the enemy to get you, he does everything to get you out of the foundation. And once you are out of the foundation, you become an easy target, an easy prey of the enemy, the devil. The arrow that is already in the bow, he can just unleash it and get you. But verse number three says, if the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? We are going to answer that question today. Deuteronomy 30 and verse number 19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you. That I have said before you what? Life and death. Blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Don't be surprised when you see death. Don't be surprised when you see people living under a curse. Don't be surprised when you see life. And don't be surprised when you see people living under the blessing. Because death or life begins from the choice that people make. Kitu natakiwa kushanga ukiona kifo. Shanga kwa nini watu wanafanya maamuzi ambayo inawazalisha kifo? Kwa nini watu wanafanya maamuzi ambayo inawaletea laana? Kwa hivyo basi, Psalms 11, 3. What can the righteous do? The righteous will make a choice. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, the righteous will make a choice. Glory to God. And I want to show you the foundations of faith. Then we talk about one of them. Foundations of faith number one. You must be strong in the word of God. Why are people being lied like fools? Because they are not strong in the word. Foundation number two. Be strong in your faith. Glory to God. Be strong in your faith. The people that know God, they will do what? Stand. And they will do exploits. 
another foundation of faith is prayer. Tell your neighbor prayer. The greatest thing that God has given to us is prayer. And let me tell you, by prayer, you can shape your life. You can make it to truly become the life you desire. Jina la bwana libarikiwe. Foundation of faith number four, giving. Giving. Glory to God. Giving is a foundation of faith that we are not going to leave. I know the devil has tried. The devil is trying to dirtify that foundation of faith, making people to leave the foundation of faith, of giving. But we are going to make a choice. We are going to say, it doesn't matter how many leave, I will remain in the foundation of faith of giving. Because the Bible says, blessed is he who gives. Because it will be given back to them, pressed down, shaken together, and overflowing. Glory to God. Foundation of faith number five, fellowship. All these are foundations of faith. Being strong in the word. Being strong in your faith. Being strong in your prayer. Being strong in your giving. Being strong in the fellowship. And these are the foundations that the devil is attacking. You leave these foundations. The arrow that is on the ball will be released at you. And it will destroy you. I want to talk about prayer. Prayer is our foundation of faith. And I've just told you a moment ago, the life of your desire can become a reality through prayer. The picture of a good life that you have in your mind can manifest in you by prayer. Prayer is a foundation of faith. And we are not going to be removed from that foundation. My prayer is that everyone under the sound of my voice will become a prayer sister or a, prayer, a, a prayerful brother. Because prayer is what God gave us to make happen. The desires of our life. The preaching of the gospel. Is to raise your faith. So that you do what God wants you to do. He mamba ya watu kikimbia kila mali. Kutafuta maombi. Hiyo ni udhaivu. Na ninaomba utoke kwa udhaivu. Na uwe muombezi. Somebody said something very true. He said. Prayer is work. But he added something else. He said, and it works. Galia Manzago Mwambia prayer is work. And it works. That is why prayer meetings are not popular. Because it is work. But may God open your eyes to see that though it is work, it works. I repeat again, though it is work, it works. And when you know it works, then you are not going to be motivated to pray. You will pray without a motivation. You are not going to be encouraged to pray. You will pray without an encouragement. But you, because you know, when I call upon the name of the Lord, he will make things happen for me through prayer. James 5 and verse number 14. Is anyone among you sick? <laughs> Is anyone among you sick? And this sickness is both sickness of the body, sickness of your spirit and soul, sickness of your marriage, Sickness of your finances. 
Is anyone among you sick? What do they do? Do they go for the Uzi? Do they go for water? Let him do what? You know, these people seated here, they are elders. And this man preaching to you is an elder. Glory to God. I just to make complicate it. Kitu. Paka to kapandika majina mbae inafanya watu waogope. Mambio mesako yule ni mze. Mambio mesako yule ni mze. Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil. Does it say they sell oil to you? Any elder selling oil, run away from them. Anyone selling a handkerchief to you, run away. The true elders are the ones that only pray. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of of the Lord, not in their name, not in the name of their church. I tell you the truth, I have seen miracles, but the truth of the matter is, I have not, I have no part in any of them. I even don't know how they have happened. I only believe in a God who does it, and He does it in a way that leaves me shocked. I don't know how He does it. Napenda hii wimba mba inasema, sijui ufanyalo, sijui tandalo, kile ninayo jua, ukiamurisha, imekamilika. Ukikuta mtu ambaye anajifanya, anajua vile buwana uponya, hiyo ni uongo wa shetani. Toroka kwa uyo. Ukweli ni kwamba, anatutumia kama chombo, lakini wakuponya ni yeye, wakukombowa ni yeye, wakubariki ni yeye, wakuinua ni yeye, wakufanya muujiza ni buwana. Sema yes! Hii uongo wa shetani amba inasema, fulani haka niponya. Mighty as one haka nifai, haka ponya. That is a lie of the devil. The only one who heals is the Lord and our Savior Jesus. And then verse number 15. That is a very key verse. Let us read together. One, two, three, go. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be committed. Ataka ufungue roho yako maana hii itakusaidia. Ukipata mtu ambaye anakuombea na mna hii. Baba katika jina la yeso. Kama ni mapenzi yako. Uponye. Wewe gonga hiyo mkono. Itoke kwa kijwa chako. Maana hiyo siyo imani. Nasema hiyo imani. Maombi ya imani. Inafanya aje. Inaponya mgonjwa. So maombi ya imani inafana na aje. Maombi ya imani ndi hii. Inasema katika jina la yeso. Najukua mamulaka. Najukua mamulaka. Na amurisha magonjwa. Sahi. Sahi. Kwa mizizi. Kufa. Iyo ombi changamukia. Hii kama ni mapenzi yako. Yesa alipo lia msalabani imeisha. Alisha atangasa mapenzi. Alisha atangasa mapenzi. Ni mapenzi yake upone. Ni mapenzi yake ubarikiwe. Ni mapenzi yake uinuliwe. Ni mapenzi yake ukombolewe. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will do what? Raise him up. And if he has committed sin, that prayer of faith, because he package ya okofu, he kitu na ito okofu, ni package. Inaponya ro, inaponya mwili, inaponya maisha. Psalms 103 and verse number 1. Let's rush there quickly. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not what? All his benefits. Number one. Who forgives all your iniquities. Number two. Who heals all your diseases. Number three. Who delivers your life from destruction. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. I want us to see James 5 and verse number 17. I'm try talking about the foundation of faith and we are talking about prayer. Look at your neighbor say prayer. A praying believer is a winning believer. A praying believer is an overcoming believer. A praying believer is a strong believer. Cannot be lied by liars. Cannot be shaken by things that try to appear to shake them. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he did what? He prayed earnestly. This word honestly means he prayed until it happened. He prayed until he got the assurance in his spirit. Pray until you get an assurance in your spirit that the Lord has answered that prayer. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed honestly that it could not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years. And six months. The devil has already unleashed all the arsenals. Adui wa maisha yetu. Wamesha ajiami. Nasema wamesha ajiami. Lakini nasipia tukisimama kwa misingi ya imani. Watakuja kama majimengi tutasimama. Watakuja kama mawimbi tutasimama. Watakuja kama mvua mbaya tutasimama. Kila sila watakayo tengeneza aitafanikiwa. Ah, na msingi ya imani ni maombi, ni maombi kulilita jina la Bwana. Naomba hii ujumbe kuingie leo. You don't pray because you want to pray. You pray because you are under attack. You pray because the enemy is not a joker. The enemy comes to steal. What does that mean? He comes to get you out of the foundation of faith. Once you are out of the foundation of faith. Ajali ukibaki na bwana asifiwe nimeokoka Nina shiriki free and the cost of the dove hope Shetani anakuangalia anacheka Anacheka atasema huyu Hii mshale ambayo itamwai Hii mshale ambayo itamwai I am telling you we are living in dangerous times I don't want to bury any one of you God did not call me to bury God called me to preach God called me to bring the word of God that will raise lives, that will preserve lives. And I am teaching you, and I am preaching to you as your pastor what to do so that the winds cannot blow you away. I'm not always with you. But when you stand on the foundation of faith, you know the devil will not attack you vile to leave your side. Anakuongoja ukiwa peke yako. Anakuja kama mafriko. Anakuongoja ukiwa peke yako. Anakuja kama mawimbi. Anakuongoja ukiwa peke yako. Ananyesha kama mvua. Lakini akikupata umesimama kwa misingi ya imani. Ah, akuje kama mvua mbaya, haitakubomoa. Akuje kama mafriko, haitakugarikisha. Akuje kama mawimbi, haitakuangusha. Kwa sababu umesimama kwa misingi thabiti ya imani. Deuteronomy 30 
says, I've put life and death before you. Choose life. If the foundations are being destroyed, what will the righteous do? The righteous will choose to stand on the foundations of faith. Why does God tell us to pray? Because prayer is a demonstration that you believe God. Nabwana, maranyingi sa ingine, anataka kutes imani yako. How long will you come to me if I keep quiet for some time? Na kwaja ni kusaidie, usiende kwa buwana kumpatia ultimatum. Hati buwana ikitu lasima ifanyike in three months. Who are you? Wengine hata wanathrete ni mungu. Kama utafanya, ni itakuacha. Siwende. You don't change him. Unaenda tu na muambia buwana ni nakuwa mene. Nena kuamini bwana hata kama iko fanyika jana najua inaweza fanyika leo ndio nimekuja kwako katika jina la Yesu haleluya akikujibu leo shukuru asipokujibu leo kesho unarudi unasema bwana napiga magoti mbele zako na inua mikono yangu bwana ninaamini unaweza ninaamini unanipenda ninaamini kasi ya msalaba ili ili nilipia Karama yote nipate hii ambayo ninataka and you keep on going tutafanya nini tuzizame kwa mafuriko tutafanya nini tutasimama kwa misingi ya imani Ephesians 2:20 having been built on the foundation of the apostles the prophets Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone wanabi mitume hata na mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo walikuwa na assembly moja waliishi maisha ya maombi nataka tuende mbele sa bwana kila mmoja wetu waambie mwanzako naomba hili neno nimesikia leo isiwe tu baadhi ya neno ambayo la kusikia Nisaidie kuifanyisha kazi. Kila mmoja wetu twende mbele za Bwana. Mwambie Bwana nisaidie nafanya wamuzi. Dasimama kwa msingi ya imani maombi moja yao. I'm going to be strong in my prayer life. I'm going to work on my prayer life. My body may not feel to pray but I'm going to pray. My mind might tell me something else but I'm going to pray. I am going to pray. I'm going to pray. The devil may come like a flood, but in my prayer, ah, God will raise a standard against the devil. Oh, shetani anaweza kuja kama upepo. Lakini kwa sababu nimesimama kwa msingi ya maombi, hiyo upepo mbaya haitanipeperusha. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, orianda la mama mayanda. Nitakuwa kama wanabii, nitakuwa kama mitume, nitakuwa kama mokosi wangu Yesu. Maana wote walikuwa na asili ya moja, walikuwa na maisha ya maombi, maisha ya maombi. Elia aliomba na kwa maombi akafunga bingu miaka tatu na nusu. E bwana mabwana, nisaidie, nisaidie, nisaidie kurudia msingi wa maombi msingi wa maombi nipate nguvu nipate uwezo oh my jesus oh my jesus kwa maombi kwa maombi utalinda watoto wako ana kama wakienda mbali na wewe ukipiga magoti mbele za bwana na kuwafunika na damu ya Yesu Roho Bwana alio mali wako atawafunika vile umeomba kwa imani katika jina la Yesu kwa maombi utapigana na roho chafu na mapepo ambayo wanapigana na biashara yako kwa maombi kwa maombi shandara bala baba bozaya Inua sauti yako ya maombi 
Omba neema, omba neema. Omba neema, omba neema. Muombe neema ya kuomba. Kila mtu aombe neema ya kuomba. Maana maombi ni msingi wa imani yetu. We must still believe that God hears and answers prayer. We must believe. Randa la mama Mosaya, rapa la mama mama yanda. Baba ni na omba neema. Dio ya kila mpendwa. Dio asimame kwa msingi ya maombi. Kwa msingi ya imani ambayo ni maombi. Tusaidie Bwana. Tuwe kama mitume. Tusaidie Bwana. Tuwe kama wanabii. Tusaidie Bwana. Tuwe kama Yesu Kristo ambayo maisha yake ilikuwa maisha ya maombi. Oh my God. Please be praying people of God. Let us pray for grace to help us pray. Grace to help us pray. To grace to help us pray. Grace to help us pray. Grace to help us pray.